drawdown alert in the portfolios. We're going to go over that. We did not trade live today, so we're going to go over the hypothetical signals. These are the kind of losing streaks and days we are glad we miss and wait for to get in. It's kind of a cyclical, pessimistic, uh, maximum pessimistic thing. The drawdown I'm showing is 15285. I wrote down 11525 here because I had a different trade. And I'm going to go over that in a minute, but I want to go over the signals today. Then we'll go over the drawdown alert again towards the end of the video. But um, and the NASDAQ was five out of six strategies lost today. And the one strategy that win was a one trade winner for $5. And so basically 0 for, 0 for 6. And so this should say 1 for 6 on the strategies. And 1 for 6 on 1 for 10 on the trades because... Uh, there was a two strategies that each traded three times instead of one, and so one out of ten on the on the trades, and one of the, like I said, the winner was only five dollars. So basically, 0 for six on the strategies and 0 for ten on the trades. ES 0 for two, basically 0 for twelve today by my uh, by my count in, in uh, what effectively happened. And so let's go over the trades on the day. Almost an untradeable market in my opinion, just the way this goes back and forth. There's always a way to trade something. There's always someone that has found a pattern, but uh, in general, I, I find it a very hard market to trade um, this type of an, this type of market right here. And so, uh, Cobra 3, down the day, minus 625, momentum reversal, minus 1225. And let's go over the NASDAQ. We'll go over the portfolio calculator in a minute as well. And EVP1, three losers. Try to go long here, try to go short here, try to go long there. Just a real choppy day where it acts like it's about to move and it won't. It's hard to short, hard to go long. I made this statement yesterday, it's a hard market to short. But it's also hard to go long right now. And so the market just, it ought to go down. And in my opinion, the reason it's hard to trade this market is because it should be trending down and it's just not. It's being held up. Uh, tick way, tried to go short. Uh, minus 60 on the day, tick pulse, tried to short it three times, stopped out with a tight stop. Minus 1875, tick reversal, said $5, a $5 profit. That's pretty much uh, break even to negative, in my opinion. Um, and Cobra 3, minus, 17, uh, minus uh, 1170. So we didn't take this trade. That's why I say um, if you're taking this trade, $5. You may get more slippage on that situation. Momentum reversal down on the day minus 1225, and so um, so yeah, just a, all across the board losing day. And the reason I have different drawdown levels is yesterday there was a short signal on my desktop platform that did not show up here, and it was for three thousand seven hundred sixty dollars, and so. I don't know which trade was right. There's a quarter point difference, and that made all the difference in the signal. And we're going to go with the trades that are on the server. And so based on the trades that are on the server, uh, dedicated server, 15285 is the drawdown. If you go with my desktop, it's 11525. And I'm not sure yet which one signal was correct. I'm asked TradeStation for a data correction update on that. And then we'll know after the fact. But based on the server trades, we're in a 15.285 drawdown. Let's look at the portfolio calculator. Uh, here it is. This is as of yesterday. And the portfolio calculator uses data from my desktop. And so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to delete this EVP, EVP1 trade. So you'll see what I'm talking about. It was over here. Um, EVP1 right here. 37.60. I'm going to delete that temporarily. And... We're going to look at this. 61.90 is a drawdown. And then after today's trade of minus 9,000, you get that uh, $15,000 drawdown that we're talking about. And you show, you know, 85.72.50. This is through yesterday. I haven't updated the portfolio calculator for October 19th, which is today. And so if you look at today's trades, this is going to show negative on the month. And it's going to show about a 15K drawdown without this EVP trade right here. So still trying to resolve that with, with the EVP trade. And here it is on my desktop. You see the EVP trade there, plus 37.60? It is not, it says 38.45 there. I, I had TradeStation 10 and this is TradeStation 9.5. I'm looking at different platforms on different computers. And so um, 38.45, 37.60, somewhere in there. So with this trade, uh, the drawdown is more like 11,525. And so, 
You could wait a little longer, but we have had uh, a, several losing days in a row. So if you go back to the portfolio calculator, look at the daily P&L. Um, you have minus 510, minus 2805, minus 1680 yesterday without that EVP trade. <clears throat> and then today, minus 9000 per E-mini. And this uh, winning percentage is the winning percentage of the last 12 days. Once we fill in today's date, that will be at the 33% number. And so that tends to be a good time to start. It can be a good time to start is a 33% number. It's gone through a drawdown. And so um, let's look at what we've done on the month. So on the month, let's see, since last Friday when we released this portfolio, we released it on uh, 10-7. And so it is 79.42.50. After today's losses, that is a negative number. And so we haven't really missed anything. We haven't traded. And so to, to, it could be a good time to start. Last uh, Thursday, uh, this is Monday, Tuesday, and then once I fill in today's day, that'll be Wednesday. This is um, last Thursday and Friday. So Thursday, we're kind of in the same situation in a $12,000 drawdown, waiting for an intraday drawdown. Went to 14 k intraday. And it's kind of hard to get in uh, intraday sometimes, waiting for 15K or more to, to sync up intraday. But then uh, Thursday was a big day. We have to tend, there tends to be strength at the end of the week. And so if we had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday losers, and we come into a Thursday or Friday, it can be a good time of the week to trade. There can be better trends on Thursday and Friday lately in this current cycle. Not longer term, but lately Fridays tend to do well. And so Thursdays and Fridays tend to do well. And so last Thursday did 11.302, and that was on the 13th. Um, the Friday, the Thursday before that was minus 72.45, um, but it wasn't a drawdown. It was only 68, 67.51 is the drawdown. And then, then Friday was 10.190. So we could have some more loss tomorrow. We could have a losing day Thursday. And then maybe a potential winning day Friday where the net on Thursday and Friday is up. Or we could have a both losing days or both winning days. And so any combination is possible. But as far as managing risk, we are at our drawdown point that we want to get in based on our server signals, a dedicated server, what we've seen before. And once we update today, it'll show down on the month for October. It'll show a 15K portfolio without this EVP trade. And so I um, wanted to give you that drawdown alert for tomorrow's trade, turning on live trading for the 200K and 50K portfolio. We'll be trading one E-mini per 200K and three micros per 50K. And so those are the trades on the day for this Wednesday, October the 19th, 2022. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders we are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.